Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to go with the Cavalier event quest. All the boss souls, we got Kinetic Transference and Footloose on the first Star-Lord boss. We're just going to go in with Shang-Chi. And uh, the only thing here is that you're only going to get power when he gets a bar of power, which I think it just means I end up shooting up to a special 3 a few times, so I don't get off the big special 2. But at the same time, I just keep going with... Um, 5 hit combo for the stun, to back double medium for the slow, and then like another hit in and a heavy attack to refresh the key charges. But you can see here, I end up, by the time I do that, I shoot up to a special 3, so I end up using a few, um, I end up uh, just doing a few special 3s, but like this fight is super easy we're well in control of this fight there's really nothing uh, that i have to worry about i just want to make sure as long as i keep up the slow then i don't have to worry about the evade or the unstoppable after his specials so there we're just going to go with the special three it's not going to do a ton of damage the big damage would come with the from the special two but i just wasn't uh i wasn't thinking about it at the time how fast i was going to shoot up to a uh, special two or to special three, I guess. Uh, but there, doesn't really matter. Go, we refresh and immediately go back to a special three. So we'll just throw it again. Takes a little bit of time, but it's uh, super, super easy. So I'm gonna uh, let the rest of this fight play out, and we'll see you on the next fight. All right, next up we've got this Gamora. There's supercharge. Uh, there's also, if you, if you throw a special too close to you, then you're gonna get rooted. Uh, and combat deja vu unblockable. But we're, we went ahead and chose uh, Rintra because he's got the neutralize. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, not have to deal with any of the power gain buffs. And at the same time, we're gonna be getting our own power gain. Uh, again, I think in this fight I wasn't really playing Rintra the best, but I was gaining a lot of power and just throwing those big special twos. Uh, really just had everything kind of in control. Even if I do get rooted, it kind of works uh, in my favor here. So I'm not I'm not too concerned with like we shoot up very quickly to 20 mystical charges, try and get the big special two, and uh, you know. I'm not getting. I'm not really getting a lot of the like ruptures on, so it's not a huge damage on the special two, but I just keep doing it to avoid going to uh, special three. Uh, it'd be nice if we would have gotten some crits, but it's okay. It, the fight went down uh, really smooth. Another big special two. There we accidentally get clipped, but it doesn't really matter. It's not like we need this champion for any other fights. It's a boss fight. <laughs> so there we go. Another one. And again, all the buffs are under control. I'm sure there are lots of good champions that can do this one. I'm sure Doom and Claire and, uh, you know, uh, Hood. Lots of fun uh, Mystic champions could probably take this one. No problem. There we go. Special one to finish it off. Okay, next fight is a very annoying uh, Agent Venom here. He's got Stalwart Shield, he gets these armor ups, Pumping Iron. So I didn't realize the about the Pumping Iron at the time. I would have brought in someone like uh, Odin just to throw buffs on a champion. So I did throw on the um, White Magneto pre-fight just so I can parry this guy freely. Um, but you can see I'm not going to be doing a, n a lot of damage unless I can get a buff on myself. So Doom can like get rid of his armor ups that he's gaining. Uh, 
but is not going to do a lot of damage unless I go to a special three and then get the, uh, I can get a fury from the special three, which will give me a buff, which will increase my uh, damage. But I think if I, if I would have maybe combined this with um, Odin as well, uh, if I had Odin on the team, then I could use the pre-fights. I would have buffs the entire time and I'd be doing full damage. So uh, you can see here, I'm gonna throw the special three, I'm gonna get the fury, and then my damage will ramp up a little bit because right now it's not really doing too much. But now we should be getting uh, like more significant damage, at least on the, uh, here we're gonna go special one, try and get right up to an unblockable special two. So there's like some decent damage. Again, not too many crits on that second part of the special two, but uh, that's the rotation we're gonna go with uh, for the rest of the fight, just building up to special threes. Again, the special one will will get rid of the um, armor ups. So we'll try and get into like two bars of power, drop the special one, try and siphon back that power. Now when the aura is up, we can throw those light attacks into him and try and steal some power. And again, back up to a special three and do the same rotation again. So we'll let the rest of this fight play out and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, next up we've got uh, the Groot here. Uh, he's got uh, Rich Get Richer and he gets a lot of buffs. So I went with, I uh, throw on the Odin pre-fights. So I remembered to bring someone to help me with this. Uh, and then I decided to go with um, Venom Pool. And Venom Pool is uh, pretty awesome here for uh, Rich Get Richer. And again, there is staggered beauty, so if you're too close, you're gonna take some, uh, you're gonna get um, a uh, stagger on you, but it's not gonna affect your current buffs, only future ones. So it's not like it's gonna get rid of all your buffs. So here, um, I wanna try, I can also eat his buffs with my special one. So I'm gonna be gaining a ton of power, even when he gets his buffs and I get clipped in the face here, that's fine. Let him throw that special one. We'll throw a big special two. Um, uh, but again, if I keep going special ones, I can eat his buffs. And you can see how hard <laughs> Venom Pool is absolutely destroying this guy. You can only get, uh, it's like power shield, so you can only do damage on your specials. And we're just st getting so much power, just pouring in those specials here. We're gonna use that striker from our relic. And we've got a ton of Furies here at this point. Just need him to throw that special one. We go straight to special three. And this fight is essentially over. Not gonna finish him here because he's not gonna get the bleed on him, but that doesn't really matter. We'll get a couple more uh, specials in and, or one more special and I think should finish him. Okay, accidentally hit that into his block there. 
There we go. One last special, and he's done. All right. The next one is our first of the new fights. We've got uh, Jessica Jones here. Now I can see it's got Prey on the Weak. Um, bleed. I see Bleed Vulnerability, and I'm like, all right, let's go in with Hit Monkey. We're just gonna go ahead, try and go for the parry. Uh, and now you have to also, it has, um, you have to knock her down in order to do uh, full damage. So I go for the heavy attack, though no, I immediately go into my medium light mediums. You can see I'm doing like 13K uh, crits here. Uh, it's fantastic with Hit Monkey. Now she does throw uh, a whole bunch of different stuff at you, which is pretty funny. Um, but that's it, we knock her down again. I don't know if I can, if I go for the big special too, get a whole bunch of bleeds on, get the disorient on. And Hit Monkey is just wrecking this one. There, I didn't work out. This is the first time I'm playing this. I did not look at any videos beforehand. So that special two looks like it can easily be countered. I just did not have the timing on that one set yet at all. There, I get clipped. Uh, but it's okay. We're going to finish this one. This, all these ones are like my first time uh, through. So I haven't... I'm sure there are. there can be lots of counters to these ones. But this is what I ended up going with. Uh, same for here for Mantis. I think I've seen since then that like Archangel can absolutely destroy this one. Um, but I saw here uh, there is a bunch of, there's Foresight, so you want to go for Intercepts, Bob and Weave. Uh, there's um, also she has an ability where you, her like special two will put a Disorient on you. Uh, but, and also um there's uh she puts this sleep on you which can get removed in like an encroaching sleep similar to encroaching stun if you throw a special with a prowess um before it disappears uh and she does have a i guess some stuff that affects ability accuracy i think it's those green buffs that she ends up putting on you um but it uh so i don't always get my parries to stick so I go for a couple, like a heavy counter there. Uh, I can also use my, um, uh, like my mid combo stun or like my block break stun with Apocalypse because I brought him with Cable. So you can see there I can go, I can get the stun that way and then go into a heavy to reapply my debuffs. Go into a big special too. There, back away, she puts the encroaching sleep on. So there is a disorient. So I was backing off uh, just to try and get the disorient to disappear, like, or to become disorient immune. And I forgot about that encroaching sleep. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go put to sleep. She's gonna hit me, but luckily I survive it. But I could have, if I would have thought about it, I could have built up to a bar of power and uh, then thrown it with a with a prowess on and it would have gone away. But Apocalypse got the job done for me. I hope this helps. It was my first run through. We'll probably do some live streams. So I uh, hope to see you on those whenever I get around to doing it. But uh, it's always great when you guys stop by and we'll uh, do some more. So hopefully this helps and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.